Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. You've got to love a good power tool, don't you? Clean up your mess. 29 quid for that. Look at the size of that. Anyone remember when I built the pond and I wrapped up this blue pipe? Check it out as well, guys. Happy days, look. Any car panglers out there? Might do as well. I might get another one of these. But yeah, that is mental. Isn't that right, dog? So, yes, it is, Case. It's me to wear a white top doing this. I'll stop the camera and be back with you in a minute. And look at you and feel sorry for himself, but it ain't no good for your koi. So you've got to take it out of your tap water supply. Like wearing protection. Always make sure you've got it on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, subscribe to this channel. Probably one of the most entertaining channels out on YouTube. Only joking, guys. I just make koi videos. Bit of banter, bit of this, bit of that. But I've got to drink me cup of tea to start with. You know what I mean? I always like messing with me tackle. And if you don't mess with it, there's something seriously wrong. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, mother for the rabbits. Anyone remember when I built the pond and I wrapped up this blue pipe because I said I'd need it? Well, I need it. So let's get on with this video and I'll show you what I need it for. I need to connect the water pipe up to my mains. Look at the size of that. But yeah, that being said, look, I need to connect this up. I need to work out some bits what I need and we'll get it sorted. But look at the state. I need to paint that, get all this filled in, get it sorted. Gas pipe's still there if I ever want to put gas in the pond. But yeah, lovely. In your nugget. Absolutely lovely nugget. So today, I reckon I'm going to be needing that one. That one. Don't need that. That one. Possibly that one. Let's crack on. What's in the box? Well, I'll show you. That didn't go to plan. <laughs> One-handed filming. One-handed filming. Give up. Happy days. Oh, that's what's in the box. See what that is? I got myself 12 and a half kilos of activated carbon, which uh, that's going in the big blue. And that there is going to replace the cartridges that I've got in the filter house. I'm going to replace these. I'm going to replace the carbon out of there. For the people that don't have a clue what this is, basically we got chlorine in our water, which is healthy to drink, but it ain't no good for your koi. So you've got to take it out of your tap water supply before you put it in your pond. Some people got to take out chloramine as well, which you need a different type of carbon to take out chloramine because you don't really want that in your pond water either. And some people got to take out even more stuff than me. And then I'm going to get that water pipe in the place where I want it to be. Happy days, just got another delivery. Let's go and get it. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Still rocking the Reebok. Don't you just love deliveries these days? Order it, turns up the same day. You don't even have to leave your house, boy. Look out now then. What have we got in this box? Let's find out what we got. So what I'm about to show you, if you tell Mrs. Whisperer, I will find you and I will, uh, you know, the rest of that. Hell of a film, hell of a film a film that was look at this look before we get involved that's what you call z absolute hammer but yeah water quality's banging just so we get involved here so as you can see i got the water pipe over there i've got to pick up the dog turd needs picking up simple have a dog pick it up in a minute that said look so i got myself this is all 20 mil pipe but the reason is i'm keeping it all with this blue pipe because i want it to look fancy in the filter race because I thought there's a lot of blue going on with all my ball valves and I thought this looked neat in there. So this is what we're going with. 29 quid for that. If anything goes wrong, I can just isolate it, get it shut off. I've also got these things. These go inside the uh, blue pipe. I ain't a plumber, I don't really know what it is. I just having a go and see if I can work it out. I've got some 90s. I've got that there's me tap connector. Look. 140 quid all this lot was 140 bloody quid that said look let's get it all together work out the plan i'll show you what i'm doing with it show you what it looks like when it's all inside of here because i reckon it's gonna look the absolute hammer i've got to work out how to get it through see all the blue look it'll look nice won't it get it all blue pin down did it did it did it did it did it did it boop, boop, boop. turn the tap on easy peasy reason why i'm changing it because i'm running it from a hose pipe still there look knees picking up i'm running it from over there and that ain't really the best uh idea over winter with that hose pipe behind the back of the pond needs sorting out 
Get a dog, they say. Best pets you can have, they say. They just lay around, they eat, they fart, and look at you and feel sorry for himself. And then you got to go out in the garden and pick up the bloody turds. Why can't they just invent a drum filter for a dog or something? Get a koi pond. Ten times easier to look after. And you don't have to pick up dog poo. So i got a plan, but I just wanted to show you guys how simple this is. And part of the reason why I went with this. Being blue makes it look the hammer. But the main reason for how quick and easy it is. You get yourself some pipe cutters. You cut your pipe. You put your inserts in. Which are them. And then you push the blue pipe into that. Job done. And to get it off, if you ever want to change the pipe or something goes wrong, just pop that off and then you push down on that and pull your pipe out. Easy. So we're going to start with this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to work backwards because I'm going to work from here back because that's where I want it to finish up. Should work from where it is there, but I'm doing it this way because this is the way I want to do it. I'm going to try it because there's no way in hell that I'm having dirty pipe in my filter house. So I'm spraying up the pipe, giving it a bit of wax on, wax off, a bit of Mr. Miyagi style to the absolute maximum. And then we're going to see what it looks like. But look at that, look. Lovely. So what you do, guys, a pair of pipe cutters. These ain't the best. They're old, but they'll do the job. What you do, literally, pipe cutters in, where you need to be, roll your pipe round, Cutting, jobs are good. Un. That's not a good cut. I bent the pipe. Look, my bad. So yeah, all you do, cushioning them where you want them to be. Cut the pipe. Happy days. There's no burrs on it really, but just to be on the safe side, just give it a quick. A little bit of going round on the old sandpaper. A little bit of Stanley knife if you need it. I mean, I'm being OCD with this. Boys who work out on the water water mains and that, they probably don't even probably, they probably use a hacksaw, I expect. But it's the Koi Whisperer, so he's got to do it right. Especially showing you lot, if I do something wrong. The thing is, when you put yourself out on YouTube, if you do anything wrong, you always get someone down in the comment section saying, James! Don't do it like that. You can't do it like that. It's impossible. And I'm like, I'm a DIYer. I'm having a go. If it don't work, I'll fix it. And I'll, I'll work out a way next time. That said, look, let's crack on. I'll show you what it's like in a minute. Put your olive on. <whistles> Sliding in. You know what I mean? Boop, 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 boom. Me making videos, look. I forgot to put my inserts in. Make sure you put your insert in before you push it all the way to the end. You know what I mean? Put your insert in, like wearing protection. Always make sure you got it on if you're going with a new victim. You know what I'm saying? So from there, it really is as straightforward. It's just push that one up, all the way up, and pop that one on. Job done, easy. But I'm gonna put two hands on this pipe to make sure I've pushed it all the way up. Cause you've got to be all the way in, not just the tip. eBay, eBay. You know one thing I forgot? Brackets. That's what you do when you're a DIYer. You don't get everything right. But I'm gonna carry on and allow to put the brackets in after I've got the rest of it done. Well, she's going all right. Really easy to work with. I wish I had the pipe brackets though, because I would have just popped them in. I've ordered them up in blue now. They should turn up in next couple of days. But if I had the pipe brackets, I'd be able to not go backwards and forwards when I make me cut. So. I was going all the way back with that pipe, but I've got a problem with this going up, going all the way straight. So what I'm doing, just want to get a fixture on it. I'm coming back up here, in around here, and then I'm going to run it underneath the little shelf I've got, around, boom. Just hope I've got enough 90s, because they're eight quid each. Eight quid for a 90, crazy. But I should have got myself a new pair of pipe cutters. I'll try saving a little bit of money, because Mrs. Whisperer would have my pants down. You know when you need a vig of it? Check it out as well guys. Happy days look. Any carp anglers out there? Look at that. Looks the absolute hammer that does. That's me koi shed. Get the key out. I need this key. So I can get out round the back. 
Right, got to have extra bolts. Let's go and have a look. Water pipe, gas pipe. Gotta love a good power tool, don't you? Clean up your mess. What I was gonna do, guys, I was gonna hold this as I was drilling. The trouble is, I need an extra hand to show you guys what I'm doing with the camera. She'll do the trick there nicely. I'll wait until I test it and then I'll put a bit of silicone just underneath there, just in case it drips in, but it should just drip straight off to be fair. Happy days. Bits into there, this side an absolute dream as well. All I gotta do, get me uh, pipe brackets, pin that up there so it's nice and plumb, and that runs all the way along. Pin that up there, pin that there. I'm waiting for me pipe brackets, and I'll show you properly. Just put the tap on, absolute hammer. But one thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get a little connection from that, a little blue connection to run that to that. I'm down here, down at the back, I've just replaced this old fitting because what I did when I put this in I completely forgot about using the little inserts so just peace of mind I've got one new push fit left over so I'm just going to put that onto the end of that pipe I've just trimmed it off again so it's a nice clean cut and uh, I know 100% I ain't going to get no leaks what I might do as well I might get another one of these because I need one up that end to shut off anything that goes to the filter house but what I'm thinking I might, you spend 30 quid on it, 28.99 or whatever it was. I want to put it in here just so I can control the flow of the water running through. Because those taps are a nightmare. Until I, um, you know, hardwire this directly into there, which I'll work that out at another time. But I ain't really sure how to do it, but I'll work it out. Just got to do one thing at a time. But I think I'm going to get another one of these and just pop that into there. Like that. So yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to put this into here, like this, so then anything underground, I can shut it off from the house supply. I can shut this whole lot off from inside the house, the part yet, to connect it from there to there. That should be due this week, and then we'll whack it in and see what happens. But I think I'm going to get another one of these. So, time to fit these, get these in. Happy days, all cleared up. I'm still waiting for me brackets, but I did put that tap in place there. I never put the little, um, whatever that thing's called in there yet, because until I get my brackets on, I didn't want to get it stuck in case I've got to lose about five mil off that length of pipe to get things nice and tight. And then I'll give the wall another paint and hoover up that bloody sawdust, because it makes hell of a mess. Let's get on with this. These things are super straightforward to change. Just give them a turn with the old key that comes with the kit. And um, yeah, happy days. I ain't gonna bore you and show you all of this because it's pretty straightforward. Just got a bucket down there, just getting the overspill from that, overspill from that. And if it does leak, I'll put a drain down there so nothing really to worry about. Did you see that? But yeah, look at the state of that. That is absolutely rancid, man. Looks clean on the outside. Just shows over the time. But yeah, get rid of that. Just shows what's in your drinking water. I mean, that there is absolutely disgusting. Look at this. That is mank. And all of that is what goes in your drinking water. That's the worst I've ever seen it, to be fair. This is um, a long time running, but that is absolutely disgusting. That shocked me, that has. I've never seen it that bad. But it just shows how good these are from the outside. I mean, look at this. This looks like you've just been to the toilet, man. Bloody hell, look at it. It's disgusting, and that's in my drinking water. I'm taking all of that out was going to the pond, so happy days. But yeah, that is mental. Wash my hands, because it looks like I've done something I shouldn't have out here. I'll get all these changed, and I'll be back with you. But that there has proper shocked me. I know I haven't changed this for the whole time I've been running the pond because the chlorine keeps coming out fine but maybe I should change it a little bit more often. Do them back to front so then I know which way I'm taking them off. So this one's going in here, it's called the Carbon Block Silver Series. These are super cheap, that's why I don't rely just purely on this, I rely on that big blue but this here just prolongs the life of that 
in there, which it has done, because I haven't changed that for a full year. So this is going in the middle one. Put that in now. Chlorine and organic. Yeah, still a little bit concerned about the water, to be fair. Um, fish haven't seemed to move for at least probably two, three weeks now, if I'm honest with you. Don't know whether to do a few scrapes or not, but I've got other things to sort out today, so they'll just have to stay still for a little bit longer. Let's crack on with this big blue. Isn't that right, dog? Say, yes, it is, Case. Yes, it is. Hmm. Right, moving forward out here. I expect a lot of you have already seen a big blue being changed. If you haven't, stick around for the video. If you have, skip through it. I ain't going to do full demonstrations. To start with, all you got to do, unscrew it. Simple to unscrew. Give it a good turn. You start it off. Bing, bang, bosh. Pop that one out. Tip them over a koi bowl. Shake some of it out, but then use a fresh running water. Spray it up the end of it, and it will just siphon down into the bowl. But what you got to remember to do when you're filling it back up, get yourself... This is the most important bit of kit that you need. That's where your clean water goes down into this carbon, if you know what I mean. So uh, you just want to cover that up. I just use a little push fit, 22 mil, straight over the top, boom. And then you don't get no carbon down the hole. One thing you have to do as well, keep an eye on your O-rings down there. If they're split or cracked, replace it. Because else you won't be uh, using your big blue properly the water will just run right through the system so keep an eye on your old ring give it a good shake get most of it out what you can start with <laughs> just spray some water up there and just wash it out the quicker you go the better it is when you get that pipe out of the way, it makes it work. When you get them almost empty, give them a bit of a spin. You don't have to get every last bit out. Make sure you go around the top. Make sure you ain't got none in your screw threads. Just straight forward, pipe in first, end cap on, bottle to the side. Carbon next to you, and just fill it up. So look at that, Answer. Trust me to wear a white top doing this. I'll well, stop the camera, we'll be back with you in a minute. So, brand new cartridges are in, carbon's all been replaced. Ran it through for about half an hour. Make sure you get out all of the little bits that pump through to start with. You know, like when you first start off. Got to make it a bit wet before you get in there. That said, look. Just got to set the trickle again now. But I'm waiting. So yeah, guys, I'm waiting for the rest of the bits and pieces. I've been up to me eyes in it today. That said, look. Stick around. Watch the next video from this one. If you're new subscribe to the channel go back look for certain things you want to look at it's all on here that being said i'm signing out thank you for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one That's me, James the Koi Whisperer.